Hey guys, welcome back and thank you so much for being here. Today I want to try something new. If you guys have been subscribed for a while, you'll know that I am a huge fan of the Starbucks Barista drink, which has white chocolate mocha syrup. We're not entirely making a replica of that syrup, but we are doing something very similar, which is a white chocolate sauce. And when you mix it with coffee, that basically becomes white chocolate mocha, I think. So I just wanted to experiment and show you guys the results. I'll be showing you guys the recipe I'm using today. And of course, we're going to do a little taste test in the end. I hope it tastes good and I'm expecting to use this for my coffee every single day. All right, so let's head out to the kitchen and make some white chocolate sauce. Alright, so now that we're done making the white chocolate sauce, it's time for our little taste test. Is it going to live up to my standards? Is it going to live up to my expectations? Am I going to be able to drink this every single day? Is it too sweet? Is it too chocolatey that you don't really taste the coffee anymore? I don't know the answers to these questions yet, but we're going to find out in a bit. So I have two espresso shots right here with two tablespoons of the white chocolate sauce. I think one tablespoon per shot seems very reasonable. So we're going to add some ice now. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, I almost destroyed it. Okay, I almost spilled the whole drink. Okay, now we've added ice. It's good to see that the white chocolate has completely dissolved and it did not take shape again after putting ice. So I think we're good because that was my fear. Okay, so now we're going to add some milk. I'm not really sure how much milk this is, but I think it's about three fourths a cup. Ooh, I'm not trying to overexcite myself because this might not actually taste great, but let's hope for the best. So here is our white chocolate mocha latte made right at home. Cheers. Obviously, it's not exactly the same as the barista drink. I think I put too much ice, but I feel like if it was a darker roast, the amount of ice would be okay. The flavor is very different, but it is very enjoyable. The white chocolate does stand out. You can really taste it. I feel like this is really made for hot coffee. It's not the best, but it tastes good. Am I going to drink this every day? Yes, until it runs out. And if I had a darker coffee roast, I feel like it would be a much better pair with it. It's really fast to make. And if you buy white chocolate sauce or white chocolate mocha sauce, it is very expensive. So this is a very budget friendly recipe. I think, is it worth it? I think yes, because if you are into sweet mocha drinks, I feel like this is definitely something you should try at home. Not bad. So that's it for today's video. I hope it was helpful. Please let me know in the comments below if you plan on trying this recipe out. Remember, you can always tweak it, put your own spin on it. If you enjoyed this video, you can always like it. And if you're new here and you want to see more content from me you can always subscribe you don't have to it's up to you no pressure but thank you so much for watching this video and i hope to see you in the next one bye, bye.